Hey, if you have a VTEC car and your VTEC is not working on your car and you can't crack VTEC anymore, I have a cheap solution that might save you a ton of money. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Greatest Honda channel in the world. Let's go. All right, so today we're going to be replacing the VTEC solenoid pressure oil switch. Now, this is going to be very key and very important for your VTEC. If you don't have this, it might have an issue with your VTEC solenoid, which will not allow you to go in VTEC, which will make the car do all types of things, maybe cut off and it, it'll it'll be bonkers. You won't know what it is. So this was only $16. Got at AutoZone. Highly recommend getting this first. Like I said, it's the VTEC oil pressure sensor. It's very hard to say it like that, but I said it. And uh, so we're going to be installing this on my boy's 2000 Honda Civic SI EVP. So electric blue pearl, beautiful car. And he's having VTEC issues. So I want to pick this up for him and we're going to see if this makes a difference. So let's go to the crib and get this going. It will be dark, unfortunately, but at least you got the daytime vlogs. Let's go. All right, guys. And this is the car. I'm sorry it's dark, but this is the original 1999 Honda Civic Si. Very nice car. We'll pop the hood in a second and I'll show you guys the issue and where we have to locate it. Figured I'd show you guys that I'm sorry it is dark like I told you guys, but figured you guys would still enjoy this video. Beautiful car. Possibly could be for sale. It's bone stock, all motor. 1.6 dual overhead cam VTEC motor, pretty much just literally a straight SI. And then we got the LS boosted non VTEC. So VTEC non VTEC. Oh, yeah, also forgot to show you guys. I kind of wired in the two gauges. All right, guys, so here's the swap. And what we're looking for is the VTEC solenoid. And the VTEC solenoid is right here. And then the switch is right here. So that's what our little our little package, guys, is, if you can kind of see. So I'm pretty sure it's a 19, <clears throat> just like that. They gave us the wrong one. $70, Greg, bro. Greg's paying the cha-ching. Look at this fucking shit. Seventy dollars, stupid little sensor. Stupid little sensor. So they, they got us Honda guys, man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one, and if it doesn't work, then we'll take this one back. We'll put their old one back in. We'll get our seventy-five dollars, seventy-six dollars back, and then we'll put that on a brand new one, and we'll just say forget it because you didn't get a limited warranty. You get a bunch of time out of it, and we'll be good. So we definitely keep that, but we're gonna compare it before we leave anyway. And what do you guys think? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. That's what we need. Got the right one. Just make sure you guys have the right one. It's real simple. Just make sure. And it doesn't have to be this color. I'm sure some places are different. But it's got to have that harness connector. Old one, a new one. So just something for y'all to look at, understand. And now we're going to throw it in. Real simple. Just come right back over here. You can see the sil there's actually the gaskets it's on it, it yeah. which I'm going to take off and put it on there and put it on here. And hopefully that'll help with a little something. Get it nice and dirty. All right, guys. So it's on there. I'm going to take this. I'm gonna tighten it up real good. Ah. She's on there. And now we're just gonna plug our connectors back. We're gonna put that in here. We're gonna take our little bolt, a little flathead. I'm gonna screw this back in first. Now you guys didn't have to do this. If you have a 19 wrench, you probably could slither by it, but I only had a crappy adjustable like always. And I had to do this, so. Honestly, it's always better, I've learned, just to take everything out your way because it, 
And what's the point of taking five more minutes to take everything apart if you're gonna sit there for 30 minutes and struggle harder to get a good angle? It's just no point. So throw that back in there. Make sure she's extra tight for Gregory, just like he likes his girls. And then we come over here. So this one right here is going, that is going to our switchy boy right here. And we're gonna pop her right in here. Let's see how she likes it. Yep, and you heard that click. That was the click, I felt it. And let's see if we can get this guy to. There All right, click that in. That's how you do it, guys. So that's how you change your VTEC oil pressure switch.